Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves and today it's gonna be a light growth shave. Just one day to grow, growing that mustache. Not much, but uh, yeah, it's there. <laughs> Enough to notice. All right, I'm gonna be using a new software today. Um, yeah, this is gonna be the Los Angeles Angeles um, shaving soap companies, Black Void, Unscented Charcoal. And it's, it's got quite the visual. You guys can see, it looks like straight up tar. <laughs> I think uh, charcoal soaps tend to look like this. Um, I've loaded it from the tub. I've scooped some out today. But this thing, I think it's been made and sitting on the shelf for a while. Because uh, it's hard as a brick. <laughs> hard to scoop out, it's hard to uh, spread out on my bowl, but uh, it works well. Just a little hardened texture. Yeah, it doesn't really, doesn't make any dent when I press on it. This is the Black Void. I believe this is one of the older um, artisans out there. Currently they are being produced by Grumatorium. Um, I think the owner for Chisel Face. Um, Something related going on there, uh, but yeah, manufactured for Los Angeles Shaving Soap Company by Grumatorium Incorporated. So, excited to try this out. Um, I've tried a couple times already. It behaves like Chella, if you guys know this classic soap. Um, if you look at it closely, it's a little airy bubbly, but uh, on the big picture, it's pretty creamy as well. So, yeah, excited to try it out. And the Got it loaded up using Samoog 830 and the visual is a bit gray because of the charcoal. And this is one of my favorite bore brushes. Doesn't perform as nicely as others, but man, I just really like the classic look to it. The clear acrylic and then the, uh, the banded bore brush bristles. Very nice brush. Got it loaded using my Captain's Choice Bowl, and speaking of Captain's Choice Bowl, going to be doing a giveaway today. Um, I'm not going to announce it on the title, but for those, those of you guys watching, um, yeah, just comment down below. Um, I guess I'm in or something uh, that indicating that you're in for the giveaway. You're going to be giving away one Captain's Choice Bowl. Um, yeah. So just comment down below once saying that you're in and maybe a week or so later, I'll choose a giveaway using random comment picker and yeah, ask for more information regarding that. So just uh, comment down, I'm in and I'll pick the winner later on. And I've been really impressed with uh, Captain's Choice Bowl. I was not, um, I mean, judging from the visuals of it and the size dimensions, I wasn't too impressed by it, but once I actually got it and started using it, it fits per perfectly on my palm and creates enough soap um, or creates enough lather for the entire shave. So it's been really helpful using this and it's kind of like a vintage bowl. I really like the looks of it and everything about it. So I would like to give this, this to someone else that is uh, out there. So yeah. But let's get going. Let me wet my face. Get us started. <clears throat> Hope you guys are having a good day. Good shave. Thank God it's Friday. Um, excited for the weekend. I'm gonna have a pretty busy weekend, but a fun one. <laughs> All right. And starting right off, you could kind of tell it's a bit airy and mixed in or combined with a bore brush probably becomes more airy. <laughs> if I use the synthetic, I think it would look better in visual. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I just downed two cups of coffee and I'm a little jittery, <laughs> but it's usually my morning routine. Two cups of coffee. Freshly grinded. I've uh, had 
the Sterling uh, Gua Guatemala coffees. I was gonna say coffee soap, no. Coffee grind or whole bean. That was uh, quite nice. I'm excited to try out more Sterling coffee. They recently put out a sample pack, so you know I'm getting that. <laughs> I still haven't tried my second pack of Sterling coffee, but I will be on that soon. All right, it's starting to look pretty creamy. So I'm gonna add some more water there. You can see the little pits. So. Alright, that looks pretty good. Looks pretty hydrated for me. Should be enough lather to last a three pack shave. If not, I have more in the bowl, so no problem with that. And the lather is looking pretty creamy. If you look closely, you can see some bubbles here and there, but not too bad. Alright, as for the shaver today, I'm gonna be going with. Um, Gillette Tech paired with the Charcoal Goods Maze Handle. Uh, this is the post war tech. Um, you guys can see it's not flat on the bottom and it has a um, split oval. I forgot what they're called, but lather channels. Um, the pre war tech, I believe, has uh, kind of a triangle lather channels. And I actually have one on the way, so I'm excited to compare the post war to pre war tech. I hear that pre-war is a bit more <clears throat> efficient, but uh, yeah, excited to try that out. And for the blade, gonna be trying out a Gillette Nasset blade on its first use, first time. I hear a lot of people enjoy them, so excited to try them out. And because it's my first time with it, I'm gonna go for a bit of a closer shave and see how it works. <clears throat> Here we go, first pass through with the grain. Feels nice. Blade is feeling super smooth, but can't really tell on the first pass. Against the grain will tell me more about the blade. So far, I'm liking this blade. It actually feels efficient paired with the tech. Um, I've been so and so about the tech because it feels very mild, but I think this uh, blade pairing turning out for the better. All right, first pass done. Really simple, let me rinse up. In 
there is a good amount of residual thickness with the soap. It really reminds me of Chella. I think performance and lather wise, it's pretty much the same, <clears throat> which is good. I like Chella. All right, should be plenty here. Let me go for that second pass. Oh yeah, and then one more thing for the Captain's Choice Bowl giveaway. Uh, yeah, you could, once you win, you can mention any of the bowls, except for the copper heavyweight one. That was a little more pricey, but I will get anything else other than that. I kind of wish I had the copper bowl, but given that I already have this one, can't really justify it. But in case I break this one, hopefully not, but uh, I'll be getting the copper bowl. All right, here we go. Second pass through. <clears throat> Cross the grain. Yeah, this is feeling really nice. The blade. I'm hoping that against the grain will be as nice as the first two passes because uh, I'm really enjoying this blade. And I think most blades, I, my skin agrees with them until the against the grain pass. Once I hit that against the grain pass, it starts to tug and not as efficient as I'd like. I've messed around with the Tatara, or not Tatara, Tatra blade this week. And I did find the first two passes, but Against the grain, it tugged and struggled a bit. But not, the Nasset seems to do a little better. little against the green test there. My neck is a bit easier than my chin for against the green, so let's get it going. Right, I'm gonna rinse up. I'm gonna go for that against the green pass. I'm gonna aim for a BBS today without any irritation. I'm gonna stop if I start to feel any tugging. So far, it's been good. And there's plenty of leather. I've actually uh, I've loaded quite a bit of soap because I know bore brushes will eat leather for days. <clears throat> I'd rather overload than underload with bore brushes. I've realized that too many times. <laughs> All right, here we go, against the grain. Test pass, here we go. Okay. So far doing pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, it's feeling better than Patra blades already. I'm gonna rinse up a bit. Skin stretch for the chin.
nice. That's nice. <laughs> I might have found my third blade that works with my skin, at least against the grain. Um, all right, still a bit of stubble left there. I'm gonna add some more water, or not water, lather. And uh, keep chasing that BBS. <laughs> Really comfortable so far. I really see why people like the Nasset blades. Super smooth, sharp. Seems like an Astra SP blade for me. Wow, that's that's really close. All right. Uh, that's pretty close for me. Yeah. Then I think I'm gonna stop here. Oh, yep. Starting to bleed. So let me stop here and rinse up. Wow, that's a great shave. I didn't really enjoy my last couple of shaves with the tech, but switching it up with the Nas Gillette Nasset blade, uh, that was a game changer. More, it felt more efficient, and I got a closer shave without too much irritation. Just that one nick right there. Other than that, that's a pretty good BBS, I'd say. All right. I'm gonna rinse up with some cold water, fresh cold water. All right, excellent shave today. I'm gonna pull out one of the after shaves that I haven't used in a long while. This is the Stubble Buster Game. It's got notes of tangerine, sequoia, and sage. Not my favorite scent, but just reminds me of like medicinal alcohol you smell at the dentist or something <laughs> with a bit of tangerine. So, all right. Um, just a little bit. Let's see how this burns. Hmm. Yeah, I get the tangerine notes a bit more here. Slight woody notes from the sequoia and sage. I definitely like the aftershave better than the soap. The soap, I can't really tell what it smells like. It just smells a little weird. <laughs> but man, the added menthol is actually pretty nice. Now I will rinse this off a couple minutes because I don't like having alcohol uh, left on my face. So I'll rinse it up, dry up, and then uh, apply some Zingari Man Balm. I've been really enjoying the Explorer uh, Zingari Man Balm. That's been my go-to aftershave um, for the past couple weeks. With that said, thank you guys for watching. I have had an excellent shave today with the Gillette, oh, the post-war Gillette Tech. 
um, paired with the Gillette Nasset blade. Excellent blade. I'm going to be trying that out more often. And once I get the pre-war tech, I'm going to be comparing it to this one. But I'm already, already enjoying this, so I have some good expectation for that. Don't forget, um, comment I'm in down below if you want to enter for the Captain's Choice Bowl giveaway. I'll be uh, selecting a winner maybe a week from now on. But thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shaves, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. See ya.